on this example, we're talking about a four-point saddle. That's when we have some obstruction that gives us a little bit of distance. We're not, not talking about a three-point saddle because it's, a three-point saddle will not get around it. Uh, a lot of time we have structural steel and we have to jump around uh, either in the ceiling or in the wall along the path to jump around something and to get back to our plane. In this ideal, we have to deal with how tall that obstruction is, right, from the plane that we're trying to jump over. We need to know how tall it is, and then also how wide we want this to be to get back to our plane. Over here, I've got some common offset pieces of information. But we also have pipe shrinkage associated. For a 10 degree offset, we're, our multiplier is six. That's from our two measurements. But we have a pipe shrinkage because as we do this, we're shrinking this end of the pipe this way. It's going that way. You know, all these bends are going to shrink that pipe this way. So for inch of raise, for every inch of raise, for 10 degree, we got to add 1 16th of an inch to our mark A. That's taking this mark A and moving it this direction. For 22 and a half, for every inch of raise, it's going to shrink 3 16ths of an inch. So we got to, every inch of raise, move that mark A 3 16ths of an inch deeper into the measurement. For 30 degree, which is our go to degree, because it's so easy for math, it's so easy on a bender compared to the others. The others are a little bit harder to, to find. The others are a little bit harder to figure for. 30 degree is our go-to. Because our multiplier between mark the two marks is going to be two. So whatever our raise is going to be, multiply it by two. And then our shrinkage is a quarter inch for every inch of raise. So that's easier to figure than a sixteenth, right? A one sixteenth or a three sixteenths. A quarter inch is easy to understand. So in this example, we've got an obstruction kind of laid out here. We do have four different marks that's got to be on this four-point saddle. Everything references back to A. we got to know where A is, and then everything else references back to A. Let's say this obstruction from top to bottom happens to be four inches. We're trying to jump over, saddle over something that's four inches tall. But then our obstruction total length from where it starts to where it ends happens to be eight inches. Okay, so now we've got two understandings of this obstruction we're trying to jump and navigate over. So we got to figure out where A is going to be. A is our first mark on our conduit. Where is A going to be? So if we measure from here, where our starting point is, to our obstruction, whatever that measurement is going to be, I'll show you a little breakout right here. And let's say that, that measurement from our starting point to where we run into the obstruction happens to be 20 inches. From where our start point is to where our obstruction is that we're, we're having to navigate over is 20 inches. We're going to use 30 degree offsets, our 30 degree bends, and create this four point saddle. Well, 30 degree, our multiplier is two. Okay. Our raise that we're trying to accomplish here is four inches. So here's what's got to happen. Our physical measurement from where we're starting to where our obstruction is, is 20 inches. We're trying to raise four inches. So our shrinkage is going to be a quarter inch per inch of raise. Our shrinkage is going to be a little sidebar. We got four inches times a quarter inch. That equals one inch. So what happens is it's plus one. So now our measurement for A, instead of being 20 inches, which is we got physically 20 inches from here to here, but our measurement and our mark for A is going to be 21 inches. We've taken care of compensation for that 
one inch of pipe shrinkage by moving that mark A one inch ahead. Now, once we've established A, then we're just talking about physical dimensions of what we're trying to get across. So from A to C, right, will be just this physical dimension. But then let's go back to our offset thoughts. What about from A to B? From A to B, we're trying to raise four inches. So A to B be four inches times a multiplier of two. So that's going to equal eight inches. So from A to B, it's going to be eight inches. Right? That's simple, easy. We just need to know where A started. And then our physical dimensions from A mark to C mark is going to be however that, you know, however big that obstruction is going to be. So we have a physical obstruction of eight inches. So from here to here, it's going to be eight inches. And then the same thing, we're doing 30 degree offsets basically a double offset, which is a four-point saddle. From C to D, it's going to be our same measurements over here as we have here. It's going to be C to D. It's exactly the same times two. It's eight inches. Eight inches. Now we've got our marks on this straight piece of pipe. Our beginning stage was 20 inches. We put a mark at 21 because it's compensated for the pipe shrinkage is going to happen. We do not worry about pipe shrinkage anywhere else other than A. Everything else is our multiplier or our physical dimensions that we're trying to do. Now the hard part is, once you get all this marking on that piece of pipe, is actually bend it correctly. And what I tell people is know your ABCs. You learned those when you was a lot younger. Follow the order. A on the arrow, slide the pipe forward, B on the arrow, take the pipe out, C on the arrow, slide the pipe forward, D on the arrow. 30 degree bends every time, it's gonna end up looking like that. Good luck.